the M41S now costs $100 more than the M44. This is in line with the stats showing that the M41S is still the most used weapons amongst pro players and gen in general. The, this would encourage people to switch over to the M44 if they wanted a cheaper rifle, but I guess it won't do much if people really just prefer the M41S for its supreme accuracy. I would be more in favour of lowering the price for the M4A4, but that would also mean that counter-terrorist buys can be cheaper if you switch weapons, and even more so. Which I guess would make the game meta even more CT-sided than before, which is not exactly something we want considering the game's already CT-sided as hell. So the Tech 9 had its ammo capacity for each clip or magazine if you prefer, reduced by 25%. This means it only has 24 bullets now, compared to the previous 32, if you do not want to math. And it also supposedly has its damage drop off per unit increased. So this means that across longer ranges you'll do less damage, but it still has that running accuracy and it still has that very precise one tapping and it still has a lot of bullets compared to the rest of the pistols so we're gonna have to see how that actually works out as time progresses it's not immediately clear whether this gun still needs a further nerf but i guess only time can tell about that one so let's talk about the smoke patch Certain one-way smokes don't work as well as they used to anymore. For example, the one that's currently shown, you can actually see the person pretty well. However, according to some of my testing, certain one-way smokes still do exist and I guess um, maybe Valve will fix that because it's really annoying to have all these one-way smokes. Initially when I mentioned this in the earlier version of this commentary, I mentioned about how the Cloud9 uh, tactic where they smoked up the railing at short um, doesn't work anymore, but it actually kind of still does. And that's really annoying because you can't, you can't see the person, but for some reason, despite the recent patch, you can still see under that crack, which I guess rip game balance, what you're gonna do. So, Valve enhanced the tagging system in the latest update, so now you get slowed down even more when you get hit. That's up from before, where last time you wouldn't be slowed down as much when you had a weapon like a knife or a pistol equipped. You wouldn't be slowed down very much because, you know, logic. Then, now, they made it such that the values are closer to each other where if you use a knife or you use a pistol, you lose quite a bit of speed still. I mean, if you had like a light, a faster moving weapon, you'd still be running faster, but at least it doesn't seem like it's completely insane like last time anymore. You can actually slow people down and punish them for peeking, which is actually quite nice. So you've seen the pistol demonstrations here and now you see a proper rifle. Do note that the bot is using an AK-47 and not an M4. I did not bother to test this with more than one weapon because it'd just be literally minutes of me shooting at the same place and watching my speed value as I get slowed slow down. It's all roughly about the same. As long as you have a more powerful weapon, your player will be slowed down more and hence you're more likely to die when you get shot. It's sort of nice, we still want to see more penetration in this game Valve, but hey, that's a start.